Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. And hello, Branching Paths. Wireless features unlocked. Oh, goody, because I'd love to play this online with people and show them how bad I am. The Far Front Paralogue 1. So, in the last episode, we made it to Ragnaferox, and we had a bit of a miscommunication, which led to a battle, but now uh, we were able to proceed. And in this episode, we could go into Chapter 4, but I think we're going to be taking a bit of a break from the main story for now because we have some shops opened up to us quite a bit, actually. Wait, they're all shops? All previous areas are shops, and I just now realized it. Maybe I'm just going to assume it was just now open to us. So you're going to want to go back to previous areas and see what sort of new things they have for you because it could actually be quite useful in your adventure. Like I said before... Uh, weapons are not eternal. They will break eventually, so you're going to want to make sure that you have weapons that will last you for the road ahead. Uh, let's see, this place has a lot of cool little tomes, and that will be very nice for us to experiment with. So, how's about we go to the tome shop? I, carry only the finest. I love this guy. I always love the line, I carry only the finest. I... One of my favorite lines in this game. So, we got, uh, as we saw, Fire, Thunder, Wind, and Flux. Uh, we're gonna want to give that to Robin, have her carry it. We only have 5,000 G to work with, though. Uh, fire would actually be, uh, lower attack-wise for her, so she's not well-versed in that. Does it matter? Is it like the Swords and Lances, where she needs to be well-versed in all these, like, she'll become more powerful with these later on? Or is she just only good with Thunder? Oh god, I really should know these things beforehand, but I don't. This one means... With the N, it means she can't even use dark magic, so that's kind of unfortunate. So, oh, you could forge! That's the word, forge. You could forge weapons into other weapons, making them more powerful. Oh, jeez, I don't know why that was so difficult for me. Uh, we could upgrade the Iron Lance, which is nice. Uh, uh, is it the only one we could upgrade at this point in time? Uh, huh. And it just so happened that it was already locked onto the one person we could upgrade. Uh, I guess we'll upgrade the Iron Lance for Kellum. Thing is, I don't know if I want to keep Kellum throughout the entire game, so I don't know if I want to waste money upgrading his thing. So I might exit for now. I remember first time playing the game, this was gonna, my first step of making everyone angry. I did not upgrade a single weapon throughout my entire first playthrough. So that might change uh, this time around. Uh, we got a reeking box. What's that all about? What can I fix you with? What can I fix you with? He's got a bunch of different sayings you could say. Uh, I guess we'll have Robin hold on to it. And every character's like different lines that they say. So Robin's like, what do you think I need, Robin? And then Robin's like, hmm, what to buy? This is like, I love shopping. Oh, for me? Thanks. Frederick's like, you're buying me something? How thoughtful. Uh, so yeah, everyone has a bunch of different lines. Calls risen to the world map. Strength varies by location. So... You could have uh, non-required battles that pop up and uh, gives you like an opportunity to have off-screen training, I guess, even though you're not recording. At least I don't know if you're recording. Basically, just uh, optional battles that make you a bit stronger. So when you go into required territory, it will you'll fare off a lot better because you have the chance to prepare beforehand. Just so every battle isn't a required fight and you could actually do some training beforehand if you're having a bit of trouble on the road ahead. Uh, defense tonic grants plus def defense for one battle, and strength tonic is for offense. Heal might be good for Lissa, but we just got that other thing uh, that Muriel has? Or who had it? Uh, I think Sully has it, actually. Oh yeah, the Balmwood Staff, so I don't think we need that right now. Uh, this is the next chapter. We're not going to be doing that today. Uh, we're going to he uh, heal our Volinaria. Oh, we're going to those. Bronze bow, bronze axe, hmm. I think we're still good. I think I'm just gonna go into Paralogue 1. Paralogues are optional chapters. I'm not gonna be showcasing all of them because uh, some of them are unlocked just through story progression. Other ones are unlocked only when you uh, do certain objectives and I'm not gonna be doing those certain objectives in this LP. So I'll be doing every single Paralogue we get available to us, but some of them will not be shown. But this one is going to be shown so let's show it. Sickle to Swad, Paralogue 1. Oh. Help! You gots to help us! I'm begging you, my lords! Hmm? Slow down. What happened? 
Oh, there's the wee piglet. Great bandits. What? What's this? A little lordling, a little lordling come to watch over his cattle? Ah, ha, ha. Ah, darn me. Shepherds! <laughs> That's right. So, what'll it be? Run and live or fight and die? Listen. What happened here? <laughs> yes, my lord. Right away, my lord. Uh, it was... If you please your graciousness, you all right? Maybe just hold off on the titles for now. What's your name? Donnie. Uh, that is Dom. Your Majestyful. I live in the village just beyond, sir. <sighs> I guess that'll do. Now, what happened? <sighs> that rotten two-headed pig, stinking bandit! You just ran off, attacked us. You're a part of my language, your lordliness. I'm the only one what got away, and even then, just barely. They were rounding up the others to haul them off in the bandit camp. Please, sir, you got to save them folks. My ma's one of them, and she's all I got in this world. Please, your royal highness. God. This blasted war seems to spawn more evils by the day. All right, Donnie, we'll save your ma. Can you lead us to her? I owe you. Oh, thank you, my lord. Thank you. Just follow me, your sirness. Hey. And you're sure of this? Right. On the grave of my sainted mother, I swear it. It was Crom and his shepherds, and no mistake. <laughs> the fancy lord will fetch a high ransom for mobile folk. We'll have the little man squealing for mercy in no time. We got nothing left to take, sirs. Please let our children go. What? Quit your bleating. What? Oi, Roderick! I think this cow's the mum of the brat who ran away. Mm. Say, I know this one. You're the wife of the man who broke my rib last time we were here. Oh. And you killed him for it, monster. I wish he'd done you for you first. Small wonder the brat's got more brass than bronze if you're his mum. Guess we'll see for ourselves when we catch him, eh? Maybe we'll even make you watch as we got him. Bwah ha ha. Gods, help us. Please, he's just a boy. <laughs> this here's where are they taking up then camp, your lord of ships, this? Good. Uh, right. Thanks, Donnie. Stay close now. Huh? Beg pardon, my lord? You don't mean... I can't fight, sir. I ain't never even struck a pig before. Uh, um... Sorry, I just assumed. I mean... Look, just stay here. You'll be fine. <laughs> I wish I was as strong as you, sirs and madams. Kick that scum out single-handed, I would. Right. Then you should fight and grow stronger. <laughs> but I ain't. No man is born a warrior, Donnie. And farm work makes for a fine training. A sickle's not far from a sword, after all. Bandits may be tougher than wheat, but the principle's the same. Uh, oh. All right, my lord. I can fight too. As you say, I'm no warrior, but these are my people. I got to do what I can. Are you ready? Everyone in place? Yeah! Ready. So, this is an optional chapter that will reward us with an optional party member, Donald. Who are we gonna use? We can't bring three other characters into battle, which is kind of lame. I want to keep Sumia in the main party, so we're gonna switch out... Hmm... I'm always going to want to have Krom, Robin, Lissa, and Frederick with us just because they're sort of the main cast. I always want to keep them with me no matter what. Viron was part of my main cast uh, in my first playthrough, but part of me wants to switch him out. Stall. I kind of like Stall. I kind of want to keep him this time around, but the only reason I want to switch him is because we already have two horse users and one sword user, so that makes me want to switch him out instead of Vake or Viron. Uh, Fooey. He's got a lot of useful equipment with him as well. Hmm. I'm going to... I 
guess we'll get rid of Veron for now and put Sumia in. View our map real quick. Donald is not here right now. I think he pops in a bit later. Uh, is he a green alley right now? He doesn't look like it. Got a lot of sinking enemies around here. Also have some treasure chests. Unfortunately, you can't pair people up right now. You can only do that after the battle's begun. Uh, I guess we're good to go. Don't have any support conversations on Locked Twist yet, unfortunately, after that uh, previous chapter. So let's just get things started. Oh, there he is. All right. Fight and get stronger, I say. Guess it can't hurt to try. I sure hope I don't get in the way. Gosh, that would just be awful. If Donnie levels up in this chapter, he will join the Shepherds. If he fails to grow, it's back to the farm for him when the battle ends. So it's not enough to just keep him alive. You have to show that he's uh, willing to fight and capable of making it through this war with us. So then, let's get things started. We need to get him leveled up. So this level, so this chapter is going to be primarily about leveling him up and just getting him stronger. Though I don't know if I'm actually going to be keeping him throughout the entire game. We'll see though. I do know that if you train him right enough, he actually becomes the strongest character in the entire stinking game, surprisingly. That's sort of just like the trick character, like kind of like Magic Carp, where he starts out super weak, but then becomes a stinking monster if you train him right. Uh, so let me see. I'm going to pair him up with... Uh, I want to have like meaningful pairings, so I don't want to really waste this time by pairing him up with Krama Robin. So I'm just sort of like trying to use my strategies and use them wisely. I don't know, Vake would want to take him under his wing, why not? So, do that. Uh, Donald does not do that much damage, so we're going to start a battle with a different character and then pair him up with someone and then have them come in for the kill afterwards. Uh, that goes to 1 HP, so... Oh, that guy's an archer, though. Uh, Frederick, can you reach him? You can't. Sully, you can't reach either. Uh, this is when things start to get complicated. Uh, this also goes to 1 HP. Okay, that's a bit better. So, as long as Sumia isn't the one taking the brunt force of an arrow attack. Okay, very good. Does not take any damage at- Oh! Okay, that's a bit awkward. I was not expecting that because of the stat thing, so... Kinda can't sit back and uh, hope for the best. Uh, well, Donald's definitely not gonna be shooting or hitting a uh, archer right now, especially on a counter attack. So I'm just gonna do that for now. I'm gonna pair Lissa up with Frederick just so uh, she could get to people quicker because it's very good to have a very mobile uh, healer. I'm gonna keep everyone a bit further back for now because I want to just focus on keeping Donald leveled up. We'll have them come to me. Okay, they're gonna go for Vague, as expected. Alright. Come on, Teach, show them what you're made of. And show us, show them how we do it around here. Could do a little bit of damage. Hmm. Let's see, probably the weakest character. The thing is, Sumia already showed that she's gonna whoop these guys' butts, so. Uh, because of combos and whatnot. These guys are all already beefcakes and everything. So I think we do just have to sit back and uh, just try and keep Donald alive. Okay, slow and steady, I suppose. Get a little bit of experience. You just need one level up on him, that's all. So let's end the turn. He's going to shoot Donald. He's going to dodge it. Oh, instead of dodging, Vake jumped in and uh, guarded for him. So that's another good reason why you want to keep characters paired up with each other because... Uh, another opportunity to escape with no damage and it's always going to be no damage no matter what the stats of their partner is if they jump in to defend you it's always going to be zero damage for both of you which is really cool so you go and do that again a little more experience uh, I guess it's sort of nice that because we're not winning the battle in one turn uh, we get a little bits of experience just for uh, getting hits in so that's good uh, that's not good getting eight damage right there He's down to, like, how much HP? 8 HP as well, oh god. Gonna finish him off, get ourselves hopefully a level up. And then after that, I can just sort of keep him in the background. Uh, just a little bit, okay. Not quite there yet, but we're on our way. I'm on my way! 
Okay, we don't have to heal up quite yet. Uh, we're in Sully over here. Crom and Robin. Uh, put you right here, I suppose. You guys go right there. You guys go right there. It's so weird being able to have so much mobility when going through trees. Not used to that. I'm also just not used to being able to move, period, because you're always going to two squares because the map is so much smaller in Fire Emblem Heroes, but I know this is not that game. Uh, let's see. How about... Just move one space uh, forward. We have Lissa. I want to know like how much damage he's going to do when... I just don't want to... I guess not too terrible if we spend this. Oh, I forgot to give... Who has the healing thing? I think Sully has it? It's just the Balmwood Staff. Let's give that to... I think Lissa needs to be in front though, so let's switch over and heal Donald real quick. Okay, more or less a full heal. And Sully is going to trade with Lissa. Give her the Balmwood Staff. And there you go, Lissa has a new healing weapon. Uh, oh, god darn it. Emony Swipe a killer lance. That's a really good weapon. I don't know if that means he'll automatically drop it. I think it's gone for good because we sort of stayed back for so long. Okay, everyone's moving forward. Let's see, this guy... Uh, oh no, he will drop it. Okay, so that's good. He also has a chest key. Uh, and that's a chest, so I presume we need a key to open up said chest, but they're gonna do it for us. Uh, let's go ahead and attack this guy. If we miss, then Donald's dead. Let's hopefully not have that happen. There we go. And Donald gets his level up. All we have to do is keep him alive for the rest of the battle, and he will join us at the end of this. This little piggy's learned some new tricks. Okay. So, we're going to have uh, Frederick go over here. I'm going to have Sully stand right here, actually, just so she could get some... Uh, extra stats by standing near these guys. Uh, Frederick, I'm gonna get rid of this dude. I think you might have actually gotten some special dialogue if you have Donald uh, enter battles with specific characters like that guy right there. Uh, because he, oh wait, no, these are all they all look the same. I thought it was gonna be different. I think if you have Donald go up to this guy, then he will actually talk to them or have something to say. But I'm not really gonna try and force that because chances are he'll get his butt whooped in one hit. So we're not going to see that happen. Uh, Robin can take care of him in one hit, but what about from level three? Same thing, so we'll give him the level up. That. Oh, and Robin comes in for a kill. Get that experience. Very, very nice. Uh, put these guys right here. Uh, switch to Samia, and we're good. Okay, Krom, let's see what you got. We can do it. Very, very good. That's what you'd expect for the leader. I got a door key. Is there even are there even any doors in this area? Uh, let's see. I don't have to worry about like keeping keys in one chapter and using another. They usually supply you, so you don't have to worry too much about that. I like how it's just a universal door key that works on every single kind of door. Uh, so Karma's level four now. Uh, just have heads up. Even if you're playing on filthy casual mode, uh, where characters will come back to life after they die. If Krom or Robin ever fall in battle in any chapter, it's game over because they're the main characters and uh, that's just sort of at least some sort of challenge you have to face. It can't be like complete sunshine and rainbows. So yeah, make sure Krom and Robin never die because that's bad. Uh, we're going to have Lissa heal Krom. Uh, how much does this Bombwood staff do? Uh, so it's interesting. Uh, it's HP. I know you got to equip it. Could she not equip this one? She could heal. Like, what's the difference? I don't get it. Cause she's not B, a B class mage yet. I don't know what the reason is why she can't use it. Uh, sorry for infuriating Fire Emblem enthusiasts and experts. You're gonna have a fun time in the comment section trying to teach me if you're into that sort of thing. I'd certainly appreciate it. So if you want to tell me what I'm doing wrong, then please just go ahead and do so. Hmm, what do we want to do now, though? We have you guys over here. Definitely want to take care of everyone. So, since Lily's alone, we're going to put her over here. Just so we can get that item. Uh, don't want to go too far out, so... Go right here, I guess. 
And then you run out over here. Oh, Donald. Uh, switch to Vake. And then we are good to go. Switch to Robin? Sure. That should be fine. Okay, we got a lot of extra stat boosts right there. And he's gone. Very good. Robin's almost to another level up, which is very nice. Uh, please survive this, Robin, otherwise we're in trouble. Okay. Oh, okay, that was the first instance of a critical hit. Always nice to see one of those, unless it's on the enemy side. Level 5 for Robin. You can tell I've gotten stronger. Always love seeing those uh, zoom in effects, and all those stinking quotes that the characters say are always really memorable. Uh, there's a certain one in particular that I'm really excited for. I'm sure you know which one it is, but I'm really excited to hear it from a certain character. Uh, Sully picked up Leaf's Blade. I know that character from Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, may yield a button, a bullion, as if the wielder's target falls. Okay. Give that to some sort of swordsman, presumably, or maybe it just won't work because nothing ever works for me in this game. Uh, seven. Seven, okay. We're gonna have Sumia go for it. Okay, we got that. Can you do that multi-hit attack they've been doing for everyone? No, okay, you just decided to not finish them off this time. Okay, not really sure what decides it, but whatever. Uh, we're gonna have them stand right here. Frederick. Uh, Fooey. How about Robin? Can you take this guy out? You can't. You could take out him, though. I'm just worried about him interfering. How about we put Frederick here? Robin will go here. Oh, we can't hit him from here, unfortunately. I'm just worried about this guy coming in and killing Robin. Are you just gonna hope that doesn't happen? I don't think nine damage can be done by enemies this early in the game. We'll see, though. That experience. Okay, a level up might help us as well. Uh, HP and strength. Not great, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Got another chest key. Uh, he left? What? Okay. Sometimes enemies could just be cowards and leave the battlefield. Uh, Sully is near the boss. How about we just put her over here? And we'll connect him right there. Get you guys over here. They're just gone. Okay, sure. Why not? Uh, we got ourselves a pile of columns. Uh, we're going for Vake this time. Just get hit. Didn't take uh, too much damage, so... Coming for the kill now, or not, because you can't kill anyone, apparently. Uh, let's go for this. Okay, so you can take him out for it, because I definitely want to keep her throughout the majority of the game, if I can do it. Uh, she gets a level up, which is nice. If I could come this far, I could do anything. So, I... Uh, unfortunately, I can't really think of that much to talk about any sort of, like, free-range topics. I'm going to try not to force myself to record this all in one sitting, like I did with Partners in Time. I was going to record this the day after Partners in Time, but I still wasn't recovered from my cold, so... I had to wait on that a little bit. It was uh, probably the wise decision in the long run, but I'm always just thinking like, oh, I could have just spent this on doing other things. I could have been better. At, I could have just like gotten more stuff done, whatnot. I've been trying to like, I just thought of like, maybe I could set it up to where I have the DS template uh, for what you guys are seeing in the final product. I want to have this look happen while it's recording. Cause like, I imagine I could do that. People do it when like streaming DS games, they have the layout and all that jazz. So. If I could have this layout pre-made and whatnot before even the recording starts, then I won't even have to edit all this together because I'm kind of scared, honestly, to go into the editing booth with all of this because editing uh, Professor Layton, from what I remember, was incredibly long for because of how I had to put all this stuff together. Um, that might have just been because of all the hints and whatnot that I had to pop in afterwards. Uh, with all the puzzles, but the layout was still really hard to, not really hard, but just it, it was time consuming. Cause like after finishing late and then going to Earthbound, it's insane how quickly things start moving afterwards. So I kind of want to, I don't know, I kind of want to see if I can set up this template to where I have it already set up in advance. And I don't have to put it together in editing. It's already done when it's recording. I can record the template outline because I record with OBS. So I just have to record some sort of visual scene and then we'll be good to go. 
Uh, I wanted to ask my friends uh, if they had any advice on that, but all of them are at MAGFest right now, so I can't really ask anyone right now. And I was like, do I wait for them to come back, or do I maybe uh, have... Or do I just, like, try it out and uh, try the old normal method? Right now, I'm just recording the old fashion way and I'm gonna have to edit this final product together. How horrible, I have to work and edit stuff, but I don't know, I was really hopeful that I could pull this off, but I kind of don't want to waste the time, so I'm just sort of going forward with, with it. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it's okay if I do that. Nobody has a chest key besides Krom, so, uh, we're gonna end the turn now. And open this up. And we got a res a rescue, okay. That is moves a distant ally to adjacent space, so it's another healing thing. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot reach them right now with Lissa, so just travel over here, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that's sort of what my dilemma with this LP was. Is like, do I wait a bit before recording it so I could see if I could get this new idea rolling, where editing would be easier in the long run, or do I just not waste the days and try recording right now? I'm having fun with what I'm doing, so. Hopefully it's not too terrible in the editing booth. I think it was more so the puzzles and the hints that made it uh, super long to edit. So hopefully that's the case and find all the time codes and everything. Uh, trade with Krom. You know, switch. Uh, trade. Give Lissa the rescue. Though, okay, could, cool. She could use this because it's not in gray. Uh, I guess we'll wait now. Switch to Frederick just so we can move faster. Uh, Vake, you go right here. Sumia, uh, do not want to keep you too close to the archer. Uh, is this all just wall? How do we get through here? Oh, we gotta go through that way. Okay. Huh. So we're gonna go this way. And Sully, follow suit. Uh, just gonna keep on keeping on, I guess. Just step ahead right here. Switch to stall so we don't get shot with the arrow. Stand right here. And there we go. Probably gonna record like two more episodes today and then I'll uh, finish off just so I could take a breather, think of some more things to talk about. Don't wanna like overwork myself so that the commentary gets stale. And thankfully I'm not sick anymore. Like, I seriously was considering recording this LP immediately after Partners in Time, but. No, I just took a few days to rest and get not sick anymore, and hopefully it's better off for that. So even though we've been using Sumia primarily, she's still lower under level than Stahl, so let's see if we can change that right now. Uh, not quite, but still a very good amount of experience. And now, let's see, Frederick, you want to kick this guy's butt? Unfortunately, we can't do it in one hit, but now let's try... Ah, oh, Sully will die if we do that. Uh, let's go for Krom, I guess. I'm gonna put him right here. I don't think he's gonna move, so we could just wait a little bit. We don't have to rush in like this. Uh, who else could we use? We could use Sully. Uh, let's see what happens. Nothing. Okay, cool. Let's put Robin here. Attack this guy. Time them castle whelps learn what us wild boy men could do. On my mark. They could do nothing because I'm attacking from a distance. Tee hee hee. Uh, Sumia, can you you could finish him off, but oh, it's very likely our unit will die, so maybe not. So when you see a stat like this, you gotta keep in mind, uh, he won't go down to zero HP in one hit because usually our characters attack twice. So you see, Sumia says attack times two, so she'll. Get him down to zero HP, but in two hits, so only if she dodges or gets guarded from his one attack will she be able to take him out. Otherwise, she will go down in a single hit, so do not just jump the gun when you see a zero on the enemy's uh, side. So I'm going to switch to Frederick, and he is going to finish off this dude, because he is awesome like that. God, no, this ain't where. I've done it. We we done it. 
We got rid of them handles and those bandits for good and all. Yes. A worthy first victory, Donnie. You fought well. Yeah. Ma! Ma, it's me! Oh. Donnie, thank goodness you're safe. I was worried near to death, boy. I can't thank you enough for saving my son in our village, my lord. Donnie, where are your manners? Take a knee and thank his lordliness. I can't begin to repay all what you've done for us, sir. Thank you. No. You led the charge, Donnie. We just picked up the stragglers. Hone your potential and use it to keep this village safe. Hey. Wait, please. Hmm? Something wrong? I'm begging you. I have a request, sir. If it please your graciousness. Take me with you, my lord. Let me be a shepherd like you. I'm good with livestock, I am. Please, sir. What? Hush now, you fool boy. I can fight too. I want to be home my... Whatever he said. I want to keep this place safe. I never thought I was good for nothing more than shoveling dirt. But my lord showed me there's more I could do. More I needs to be doing. God, help us. You need to be knowing your place, boy. A farmhand's no fit for a royal. Actually, we'd be thrilled to have him. The shepherds need every good man we could find, and your son fought bravely. Oh. You're very kind to of say as much, your lordshipness, but... Uh, well, you're a great man now. Well, you're a grown man now, Donnie. So I suppose you can make up your own mind. Oh, Ma! You just come home safe, love. I'll see you at the village is still standing when you return a hero. Well, off you go then. Glory's waiting, boy. Yeah. I ain't fighting for glory, Ma. I'm fighting for you. But if I do find some glory, I'll be sure to bring it home for you. Oh. Just come home alive, Downey. And that is it for Paralogue 1 little break in the action of main story progression -ness. Hooray, I am a great commentator and professional Let's Player who's been doing this for more than a third of my life. Glad to see it all paid off! Okay, no, really. So, yeah, we got ourselves a new party member, and we are going back into the main story after this. So, next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we will continue on the main path with the main story. This is Minute and Beyond, your main commentator, for better or for worse. And I will see you all later. Good night.